Assalamualaikum, my name is Ahmad Dirawan. I'm an obstetrician and gynecologist in Indonesian Brain Hospital. In this video, I will try to help you to distinguish the 7093 filter made by 3M, which one is genuine and which one is the fake one. I have used this filter since the beginning of the pandemic. And as you may already knew, the 7093 is having a P100 filtration efficiency, which is uh, exceeding the N95 that we usually use in our respirator. I made this video because I have a growing concern. As I observe in Indonesian marketplace, the seller of this fake one is steadily increasing. Okay, the rule of thumb of spotting a fake item, whether it is the filter, the respirator, or anything else made by 3M, is first the print. You could easily see that the printing quality on the original one is far more better. The color is brighter and the letter is far more easily to read. While the fake one is have a really dull, a really dull color. Also, the printout is very hard, uh, hard to be read. It has a bad contrast. If you can read the label, you will also find many inconsistency, uh, many mistype, and uh, and others. Like this one, it should be made in Canada, but because they made it in China, in order to make us believe that it is it is legitimate, they put it made in China in here, but they forgot to change or to delete the Fabricado no Canada. Uh, in below like in genuine wine so if you find uh, this kind of mistype and inconsistency it should alert you that the item that you have is actually not a genuine one and it is the fake if we are observing the color of the label as i mentioned earlier we could see that the original one or the genuine one will have a more brighter and more glossy finish in the label like this but in the genuine wine uh, the color of the label is gradually changed over time i have the example of this okay. all in the bottom is the original one why i'm really convinced it is original because i bought directly uh, from uh, from the 3m representative office in indonesia so you could see that this color is a bit different the right one is i already uh, used this for I think uh, about four or five months and the color is changed from a deep purple like this to the light uh, light pink like this and we could also observe that the label placement is not always symmetrical uh, you will see that this one is uh, a bit higher while this one is uh, a bit lower and the right one is uh, slightly asymmetrical to the left but you could see that all the printout and all the label is as glossy as each other, like this. While on the fake one, it is not glossy. You could see that the plastic is glossy, but the inside is not. And also, the label is made of plastic, so it is waterproof, but you should not wash it in the water. And also, the design of the 7093 is not changing over time you could see that i have one that was made in 2014 this one maybe it's hard to deny this one 2014 and the one that is made in the uh, this one is 2019 this one is 2019 it's essentially the same huh? whether of the shape the size of the label in front and the back is exactly the same so okay so if you find another one with the molded expiry date or batch number like this not engraved neatly engraved laser laser engraved like the genuine one you will definitely get a fake one uh, this is the fake you will see that it is not engraved but it is molded directly to the plastic case and also the label placement is uh, 
somehow sloppy. And also there is, if you find the any imperfection in the physical appearance, like this one, it will, it will definitely be a fake one. Because the Gen 1 one will not, imperfection like this will not pass the strict quality control mid by 3M. Another thing we could be notice of is the if if the fake one is, is having a better quality fake, then it will also have the engrave expiry date and base number like this. But you could see because it is uh, what a bit difficult to see. I already printed. You could see that the base and expiry date that it it print on the case is uh, uneven and also truncated and it's a bit too thick you know like this is too thick it's it is also uneven like this uh what the space of the letter is not uneven uh, not even it's also up and down like this also it is a more thicker like it was done manually while on the original one on the gen 1 one uh, the lettering is even also the also the font is the same whether it is made in 2014 or it is made in 2019 the font is the same and also it's a uh, really flat it's really thin the engrave is really flat and thin so you could not uh, you could not easily feel it like this because it is very thin it's it's very flat another difference is if you see from the back if you see from the back it is uh, somehow difficult to see so I already made a printout also for the fake one if you watch it very carefully you could see that the filter is enclosed in some kind of film like this so if you watch very carefully you could actually see that the that there are some plastic film inside the filter while the original one you will not find this uh, you will not find this kind of plastic inside and also the filter material is a bit more neat more nicely composed in the original one while the fake one is a bit packed like that And the difference is that is mostly dangerous is when we open up this filter. How to open up this filter? Actually, you have to use some kind of tweezer. Uh, there are four locks in here. One, two, three, four. And you have to pinch that while you pull this up together to pinch like that. And it's open like this. So the inside of the 7093 is actually an... HEPA filter, it's EPA filter and the original one is having a sealant all around its edge like this the sealant who made this filter is airtight so any air which come inside have to go through this filter while on the fake one I am not opening this one but I get a picture from the internet if the fake one at the edge you will not have a full seal like this and this is very dangerous because the inhaled air could go through this gap and not getting filtered well also we have to remember that the filter material is we also don't know what is the quality of the filter material but even if it it is have a good filter material the inhaled air is could easily escape escape through this gap okay the last and the easiest way to distinguish which one is fake and the gen one one is actually the price if you find one seller sell it at a much cheaper price than the other and it is most likely you will get a fake okay i think it is all uh, please stay safe and stay healthy and hopefully we will meet again at the next video wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh